Hello, welcome back to the Clean Classics Workshop. This time, there's all sorts of progress going on. We are really getting into the thick of the Series 1 conversion. We've just stripped down a leaf and we've got all sorts going on. So we'll go through what's going on on that project. And also, we are now prepping. After we've done our dry build on the 2A, we are now prepping all the panels to go out for paint. So, so in the next couple of weeks, they should be coming back in looking nice and shiny. And we're going to have a look at what Alfie's been up to doing the wiring for the Series 1 as well. Like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> so this the Series 1 project. It's been with us for, for far too long, but we're finally getting really into the thick of actually converting it. It's a really good point at the moment to sort of show what we take out of a Nissan Leaf and how we then recompile it to go into an old Land Rover. Obviously, we've got the battery pack. So that's then split into three equal sized chunks, certainly in the Series 1. Two of them go under the seat boxes in our under seat box. And then one goes in our front box, which sits underneath our top box, just in front of the motor in the engine bay. Obviously then we need a motor and we need a charger. So we've got the motor freshly stripped out of the leaf here. Um, we then have some mounts that we add on. This is our motor back plate, which actually includes a bearing. And we'll press in into this housing our output flange which then makes to a prop and sends it to the transfer box. And then finally, which sits, normally sits on top of that motor stack in the leaf is the, um, what's called the PDM unit, the power distribution module. It's basically the charger, the DC to DC, all of the power electronics to, to bring the whole, whole electric car together happen in there. So that we then also mount into the, into the old Landy. So, one of the first things we do once we've got everything ready, all this is painted, is we build in the powertrain subframe, all of the frame and brackets that mount to the chassis that we then mount our system to. They all go in first. Um, we've actually put in the front box and top box to mock up for wiring routes and other things. These will come back out as we build it all up together. But fundamentally, there's a frame that we add in. There's what we call our powertrain subframe. That, that we add in inside the main chassis rails of the vehicle. And what this does is it allows us to pick up on the structural points of the chassis, wherever they are, but then give us freedom to put mounting points all around it and mount the transfer box back here, the motor at the back of the engine bay there, exactly where we need them and hold them you know, really strongly, but without needing to cut or drill anything in the original car. Alfie's been busy in the wiring room and he'll take you through some of the bits he's working on, getting ready for all this to go together. We're in the wiring room here, currently working on all of these bits for the series one that's currently been put together. We've got this out of the uh, leaf pack that was stripped last week by Fred and the other guys. So all the modules you saw earlier were out of that. From this, we like to recycle as much as we can into the new car. So all of these bus bars will be reused. That saves us having to make new ones. They're all perfectly good to go. Everything from the battery out of the crashed leaf was in perfectly good condition. So these are all being kind of popped out, stripped down. So these bus bars that we've taken out of the leaf are gonna be used with the little ones spanning between two of the modules um, to connect them in series. And then these large ones go between the two banks of the pack to connect those and then there'll be a high voltage cable from this end of the pack and a high voltage cable from this end of the pack that will then go to the connectors. And that's kind of how we attach each box in series with each other. Um, there are a few other bits from the leaf that we reuse. So this is a temperature sensor. Each of the battery box has three of those, which is quite convenient because we put one in each of our three battery boxes. And that just kind of feeds back the rough temperature of the battery box to the leaf BMS and means that we can just check that everything's running at a safe temperature. So if you look here, I've put this one in this box already, just sort of roughly in the middle of the pack. And that just needs to be taped down securely there. And that feeds straight out the same plug as all of the cell taps here. And the cell taps in each box basically just measure the voltage of every single cell we have in that box. And then the BMS for the car can measure those and manage those to make sure that all the leaf cells when they're being charged and discharged stay somewhat balanced and keeps everything running smoothly. So these looms up here are some that I've already made. They have just a female DTM plug on each end 
And that means that we can have a male plug on a bulkhead fitting on our battery boxes and our top box. And they just take all of the cell taps and temperature sensor. They just run straight like that to the front of the car, to our top box with all of our sort of control electronics in and just kind of bridge the gap between everything that's better around the car. And these cables going straight into the series one, which Ollie has just shown you around just a moment ago. So last time we looked at the series two A, um, we just completed getting the whole dry build together. Um, we've ended up spending a bit more time on the shut lines and, and the way the door fits. It, it seems as though the aftermarket gal bulkhead we've got has been the culprit for just making that fit a bit of a challenge. Um, some of the lines don't quite line up where we'd expect them to go. So we've uh, had a bit of a, a, a wriggle around and we've managed to get as, as good a fitment as we can on the doors, get everything sort of well, one, so it fits, and two, so the shut lines look sensible. Likewise, the getting the roof on, there was a bit of twist in it, so we sort of got, got that straightened out. So now we've got it, so we know that when it all comes back together, it's all gonna go together nicely. We know that we got it in adjustment whilst it was in dry build phase, so we can, we can go, go together with confidence and, and get it all just so. So now that dry build phase is complete, we have been prepping it to go off to the guys who are gonna paint it for us. We, we actually do, for this build, we're doing the, a load of the prep in-house. Um, so that basically entails going through the panels, making sure there are no final small dents, beating them out if there are, then we get on sanding it back, adding a bit of filler onto any smaller undulations that we want to smooth out, getting it so that you've got a rub back finish that is ready to receive um, an etch primer. Um, and then once it's been etch primed, it can have uh, a bit of high build primer in, in any of the, the, the um, areas that have had filler just to, to that acts as, a, as a, an extra layer between if you've got a bit of filler going straight onto some, a metal face, sometimes that, has, that can have a bit of a divot where they, where they sand down. So the high build spans that gap quite nicely. Um, once we've got all that and it'll be, be in, in primer, we'll send it down to the guys who paint it and they'll get the final coat of, of paint over it. Then we can have it all back here, build it up and it'll be a beautiful new looking Series 2A Landy. So over here, we've got a load of the panels. Some are done, some are still in progress, but these are all the panels that have already come off the 2A. So the external panels will do whilst it's built up. So that, you know, on the wings, all these external parts, it's really fiddly to get onto the internal parts. And given we're taking them off, to get the paint job done anyway. We've waited till the, the, the panels have come off to get onto the sort of engine bay area and all the internals, just makes life a lot easier for those bits. Likewise, the roof we've disassembled so we can get to stuff better. And, and yeah, working through, we've got the, the sill panels down here. They're actually new replacement parts, as are the doors. The, uh, the rad panel is, is one that we've repaired. We put a new bottom on that. So yeah, it's, it's kind of, it's, it's been a, a real puzzle of getting bits together, repairing some, replacing some for new. Now they're just all, all getting, getting rubbed down and ready to uh, all come together as one, one vehicle. Thanks for watching. Really hope you've enjoyed seeing what we get up to in the workshop here. Um, as always, if you've been enjoying it, do like and subscribe. It's, uh, it's, it really helps us grow the, the channel. We're really enjoying putting this content out for you guys. Any of you got any comments about what you'd like to see or any questions about what we do, then please do add comments freely. And um, we always love to hear a bit of feedback. But yeah, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. <laughs>